Good evening. This video is to give you a quick overview of a couple of things that are easier to see than to learn about in a chat when we have our meeting this evening, and also to show you where we will go for our chat. So I wanted to make that easier for you. This is Rochelle speaking and going over things. I will be taking lead in our overview of Module 1 this evening, and Teresa will be managing the back channel for those of you who have questions. The first thing I want to point out is if you set your course up to personalize it, one of the things Anne showed you was how to put the different blocks, how to dock them. And while that's a great idea, I do have a suggestion for you. And since we're using the calendar within Moodle itself, and we also have upcoming events, I would suggest that you do not put those over on the dock. And the reason is because when things are over on the dock, you have to go to them to see the information. And I find the use of calendar and upcoming events great ways to keep you on track. And this is an important thing to think about with your students as you are doing blended instruction in the online component. So visually you can see when meetings are going to be held, um, when events or modules are going to be opened, and then also upcoming events. So when you log in you can quickly see what's coming up. So that's what I suggest is that you leave our calendar and upcoming events undocked as a way to serve as reminders and keeping you on track. The next thing I wanted to point out is where you, we are going to have our office hours and you can see under the general section which is the very first section of the course there is a chat called Rochelle's office hours so every Sunday at 8 o'clock during my office hours this is where you will enter um, to attend the office hours. Office hours are not required. Office hours are exactly what you expect. Um, if you think back to college, if your professor had some time that maybe there were some things more personally or quick questions that you had before you were going to be meeting, you could meet during office hours. And that is why both Teresa and I will hold office hours. That's the intention, and that's where you will find mine. And the last thing I want to show you is where we will actually have our meeting for the overview of Module 1. If you go into the module, what is blended learning? You can see that the very first thing we have is a chat at the top called Module 1 Overview. When you click on Module 1 Overview, it gives you some options. It talks about our first course meeting, and you can click here where it says click here to enter the chat now. Go ahead and enter it, and your name will pop up. You can see over here your name will pop up. And when you're wanting to chat, we can go ahead and type. Um, into the box and hit send and it pops up here. Just a note, you are able to send personal messages so if you see someone in the course or have a question, especially a back question for Teresa as I'm handling the agenda this evening, you can click on that person's name and then send a message directly to them. The other thing is it you aren't able to see when someone else is typing, so as I go through the agenda, I will be using bullet points, numbers, and letters, and then pausing to see if there are comments or questions before moving forward. A threaded discussion is not the easiest to have a meeting, but Teresa and I do not want to overwhelm you with um, several new tools as you most of you are just getting into Moodle this weekend. So we're going to use the chat. One of the things we'll see is the limitations and also how quick and easy it can be to use with your students so you can figure out what the best application is. And moving forward, we will be using Adobe Connect meetings and Google Hangouts. I'll see you in just a little bit.